If it is time for sports, it is time for us to talk about what? It is time for us to talk about the Super Bowl. Well, it was, you have to put, one of the most exciting NFL postseason runs for every game, it seems. Every game, it seems, came down to a last drive or a last minute. And the Super Bowl was no different. The Rams topped the Bengals uh, to win their second Super Bowl in history. Matthew Stafford, who toiled in Detroit with great talent for many years. A lot of personal setbacks, a lot of struggles. He wins the Super Bowl. Congratulations. Harold, the guy, this guy <coughs> took over the game. Aaron, Aaron Donald. Uh, he took over the game in the third quarter and uh, ended up making the game ceiling play. Pretty amazing. How about Cooper Kemp? Cooper Kemp and Matthew Stafford were the last drive. Um, and Cooper Cup, Cooper Kent, Cooper Cup won the MVP. Now, you got to feel very bad for the Bengals. They played their hearts out, and uh, there were uh, there were some calls at the end. There, there, there was interference, but you still feel bad. But what a turnaround for that for that club! I think they had won six games the previous two or three years, and uh, to go to the Super Bowl and come within what twenty some seconds or thirty some seconds of winning. Absolutely amazing. Now, um, so now we, we wait for another year. The Giants, maybe another few years. The Jets, <laughs> maybe another few years. The Patriots, they'll be back in the playoffs next year. And the Bills, they'll be back in the playoffs next year. So, uh, football season is finally over. I don't know. It's my big screen TV won't seem the same. Anyway, so uh, that is uh, that is it. Um, on sports for the football. On to baseball now. <clears throat> Major League Baseball is keeping the spring camps on hold, saying that missing the opener would be disastrous. That from the baseball commissioner. Well, then get the job done. Get the job done. Meet with the players' union and get the job done, and, and let's have a full, real baseball season. Since I last spoke to you, some deaths in Major League Baseball. Jeremy Giambi, dead at the age of 47. Gerald Williams, he played for the Yankees, uh, dead at the age of 55 after a batter with cancer. And remember the charges that were filed against Trevor Bauer in an assault case? Well, he will avoid those charges after an investigation into the domestic violence allegations from last year, according to multiple reports. So, um, that is uh, a check on sports. Here, are, Well, we could mention the Olympics. The Russians, who are not there as a country, but individual athletes, I once again had a 16-year-old. Found out she had an illegal substance, but because there's a rule in the Olympic rules that at her age, they can't do anything detrimental to harm her career, she's allowed, she was allowed to skate. American athletes are doing okay in the Winter Olympics. I think we're second in the overall medal count and fourth in the gold. So we're doing all right. 
And you can't talk about sports unless we talk about the Salisbury Winter Sports Association. I don't know if Willie Hallahan is listening now or not. Probably not because he's tired from the weekend. They had record crowds on Friday night for the target jumping at Satry Hill and then the human dog sled race. Uh, I watched uh, on YouTube. They streamed everything live on YouTube. Saturday, another big crowd uh, for the ski jumping. And then Sunday had a, a nice crowd after a surprise little inch and a half to two inches of snow that we had. As I said, I got to poke in and watch in the comfort of my home on the uh, YouTube broadcast, which I think was, was put together by Salisbury School. Uh, so uh, once again, Jump Fest went off, uh, and now we prepare for, that's right, the Junior Nationals are coming to Sage Tree Hill in a couple of weeks. We'll have more with Willie Hallahan on that, of course, over the course of the next week or so. And we've got another big event, uh, Winter Weekend in Norfolk, which is coming our way as well. So uh, we are into it right now. Congratulations to Swasa, and good luck uh, hosting the Junior Olympics at Satcher Hill in a couple of weeks. And uh, that is a full comprehensive, as I can do, check on sports this morning on The Breakfast Club.